the government has been trying hard to improve the current economic scenarios. They have introduced stimulus packages, new interest rates, etc. All these things will have some serious effects on the price of the commodities. Talking about all these issues, Will said that we are on the verge of a commodity super cycle. We may very well be in the beginning or the early stages of a new super cycle. If you think about just how much commodities have delivered just in the last few months from the trough that we saw, kind of the middle of last year, we have already rebounded quite significantly from those bottom levels obviously, most famously when the oil price briefly went negative there. But there are some very strong reasons as to why we could be in the early stages. There's physical and monetary policy backdrop which everybody is familiar with which is creating an inflationary environment and obviously one of the key reasons to be invested in commodities is because of their benefits and the portfolio is a hedge fund against inflation. But also what we are dealing with is many years of CAPEX constrained supply and that was only made worse by the pandemic last year. So couple that with now a global recovery or at least an economy trying to recover and recovering quickly with all these stimulus measures on top, we could see higher commodity prices going forward from here. Talking about the commodities that will increase in value in the future, Will said that in short term, it's a very strong outlook for almost all commodities. The huge amounts of stimulus that's been put into the economy right now will benefit all commodities in the short run. In the longer run, we are transitioning away from an economy that's built upon reliance on hydrocarbons to an economy that is really an electrification of the world. So a transition to a green energy environment which means benefits in terms of metals, iron ore, copper, other base metals, platinum which is a key metal needed for the production of green hydrogen but also for hydrogen fuel cells as well and also palladiums. Metals do well in that environment. But obviously, a green energy future doesn't bode well for oil and traditional energy infrastructure and over a longer run, the oil price would decline. Will explain that the gold market has been a tough place for the last few months because there's a sort of double whammy here of not just the rising rates which obviously everybody talks about but obviously what goes hand in hand with rising rates is a stronger US dollar. So typically that's the relationship that has had that negative correlation and a stronger dollar. Rising rates have pushed the price of gold down. People have to bear in mind that with all the stimulus in the market, rates really can only rise to a certain level. Right now, we could start or be starting to see a sort of natural leveling out of interest rates. If rates continue to go up, the Federal Reserve, other central banks around the world would have to step in and instigate some kind of yield curve control because they don't want rates to go materially higher than they are now. The economy cannot handle rates significantly higher than where we are right now. So gold is well positioned at the moment. Now talking about what could give rise to the price of gold, Will said that at this level, you have to have inflation expectations or need an inflation surprise, an actual surprise in the numbers that come out at this level because the stimulus is well known. We all understand the effect of that in the economy but at the moment that sort of manifesting itself into a stronger dollar and higher rates which is the main thing driving markets at the moment. But if we get a surprise to the upside on the inflation side that will really kick gold into gear. But people have to be a bit more convinced that we are going to really start to see inflation here. A higher number would be reflected not just in the CPI but in other inflation measures that people track in the economy. But a higher number than expected. A higher number would be good for gold. About the silver market, Will argues that when it comes to any ETF 
that's backed by physical metal then to the extent that the underlying supply is based on the availability of that metal then clearly if you are in a squeeze or a situation where you run out of metal then you wouldn't be able to supply that particular ETF and now in the silver market is too big for that to happen so the squeeze situation when it sort of manifests itself a month and a half or two months ago on reddit forums never really managed to gain the certainly nothing like the sort of impact that it had with GameStop and AMC and other things it's largely because the market's just too big the other thing that people don't necessarily think about which is that ever since the Hunt brothers cornered the market the regulators have stepped in and put in regulations around the amount the margin limits whether it's the exchanges but position limits on the exchange as well in terms of the amount of silver the amount of a commodity anybody can own that has put the brakes on a number of attempts to hold outsized positions and that is a big gating factor so when we saw that reddit situation happen with silver the exchange did step in and raise the margin on silver which all things being equal would stop a lot of the more speculative activity so it's something to watch out for on the chance of explosive price movement in silver will says that this is a different story some people will say that they have to be intrinsically linked the last move that we saw silver went up to 50 dollars you could argue that it was nothing to do with a short squeeze in the same context as what we saw recently on reddit so the price of silver can move higher in a rising price environment and again transition to a green energy infrastructure silver is a metal that is going to be more in demand it is in demand at the moment but it's going to be more in demand in the future along with copper along with these other metals that are going to be so important or are so important in all these new technologies that we want and need for a green energy transition so guys this is the end of this video if you found this video informative then please make sure to like this video subscribe to our channel i'll see you in my next video till then have a nice day